you to take your number one finger, and I want you to, uh, first of all, wrap your hand around the guitar, get comfortable, and take your number one finger and put your fingertip, just like that, on the third string right here. Let me find it. Right there on the third string right before the first fret right here. Okay? Just kind of slide it right up there. Just like that. Now, and also, I'm going to remind you, you've got to curl your fingers to use your fingertips. You see how my fingertips, they have grooves in them? That's because I use the very middle of my fingertips when I'm noting the guitar. But this finger's on the third string, first fret, and you bring your number two finger up to the fifth string up there and curl your fingers like so, so that you'll use your fingertips. And then take your number three finger right there and put it on the fourth string and don't put it on or beyond the second fret right there. Now you're making E and I want you to strum all six strings from the top, from the sixth string down. Here we go. Okay, that sounds great. Now, uh, Mr. Number Four Fingers right here, he's not doing anything, okay? He's just kind of, he's just kind of watching everything go on. But what I want you to do right now is I'm going to count you off and I want you to strum four beats in E. Ready? And I'm going to do it slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very good. I want you to strum up and down, and I'm going to count you off again. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you a little tricky stuff here. Remember I told you to maintain contact with these, with at least one or two of these fingers back here? And this is going to give you stability for when you start picking. And here's what I mean. I want you to do this right here. And if you at least got your little finger here bracing, then you've got more control when you're picking. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So what I want you to do is pick your top string. You're in E. You're making the E chord. Pick your sixth string, then strum, and then pick your fifth string and strum. Back to the sixth string and strum, and your fifth string and strum. Do it one more time. Sixth string, and then strum and then your fifth string and strum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count you off again and we're going to pick like that. All right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do it again. Now I make, uh, the book will show you to make A major like this. I don't do it like that, okay? I'm a little bit different. So I, the first thing I teach you is to make A seventh. Okay, now we're gonna work on this one first. All right, here we go. Now what I want you to do is put your number three finger on the second string right here and slide it up to the second fret right there. And remember to use your fingertips so that you don't interfere with the third string or the first string, okay? And put number two finger right here on the fourth string, right about in there. And you strum five strings down. Hear that? 
Now let's try something, okay? I want you to get used to making A7. And then I want you to go back to E. And then I want you to go back to A7. And go back to E. In E. To A7. Back to E. So I want you to get used to making this chord, which is E major. The first chord you learn. And then I want you to get used to making A7. Okay. Now, I told you that I didn't make A major like this. You probably said, well, David, how do you make A, a major? You see number one finger wiggling right here? I put him on the third string right here, on the third string. And without moving these two past this fret right here, I kind of scoot this one in between there. Watch this difference in sound. Hear that? Now, I do that, I make A major like that, so that I can go. Strum down, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one. Right now, what I want you to do now is I want you to pick your fifth string and strum down. And then I want you to pick your top string or your sixth string and strum down. And then pick your fifth string again. And your top string or sixth string. And do that back and forth. Here we go. And Okay, now we're going to do a little exercise right now. It requires a little bit of picking. We're going to go from E major to A seventh. The two chords you know, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to practice changing from E major to A seventh, back to E major. And what I want you to do is I want you to pick your top string in E, and strum. And then pick your fifth string in E, and strum. Pick your top string again, and strum. Your fifth string again, and strum. And then I want you to go to A seventh and pick your fifth string. That's this string right here. And strum. And then your sixth string, and strum. And then back to your fifth string, and strum. And your sixth string, and strum. Now let's start off doing it real slow right now, okay? I'm going to count you off. We're in E major starting out. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Top string, strum. Fifth string, strum. Top string, fifth string. Then you go to A seventh and pick your fifth string. Then your top string or sixth string. Fifth string again. Sixth string, then go back to E major, pick your top string or sixth string, fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, and then go back to A, A um, seventh, pick your fifth string, sixth string, fifth string again, sixth string, then go back to E, pick your top string, fifth string and stop. Now after a while, once you get used to doing that, you'll, go, you'll be doing stuff like this.
Okay, now, in this lesson so far, you have learned E major. And you've learned A seventh. Remember the second string, fourth string. Well, in, in this next segment, we're going to learn B seventh. you do is I want you to make E major, you remember, your third string, your fifth string, your fourth string, and using the middle of your fingertips, see my fingertips right there, see those grooves, I use the very middle of my fingertips, okay, now I want you to make E major, now what I want you to do is I want you to drop this finger, number three finger, down one string, see that? I went from this string to the third string. Now, take Mr. Number One and bring him up one string. So he's on the fourth string, and now he's on the third string. You change places, okay? And put number four, we're going to put him to work in this segment. Put him on the number one finger or a string down there, but do not go past the second fret right here. See right here, everything, this is right here, pretty close to the second fret. And this is pretty close, and this is kind of in between, and this one's right before the first fret, okay? And this is B major. Now I want you to strum five strings down. Hear that? Now, if I wasn't using the very middle of my fingertips, one of these strings would sound muffled. But because I'm teaching you to use the middle of your fingertips, you're making clear chords, okay? Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. You've seen, you've heard guys do this, especially on them old country songs. I want you to pick your fifth string, then strum. Then I want you to take your number two finger and go up to the top string right there, and then pick it and strum. Now, this, this finger here will muffle this string. Hear that? To where you won't even notice, okay? And then go back down. To the fifth string right here, pick your fifth string, then go up here and note the top string or sixth string and pick it. Pick your fifth string again. See how I'm doing that finger back and forth? Then change to E. And of course in E you pick your top string first and your fifth string. And you see what I'm getting to? In E you pick your top string. Fifth string. Then when you go to B seventh, you just change place with these two fingers here. Put this one on the bottom string, and you pick your fifth string, strum, then your top string. Back to E. Now what I want you to do is I want you to practice going from E to B seventh. And at B7, you know, you start off picking your fifth string down. You don't pick your top string. See, it wouldn't sound right. Listen. That note would be out. Yeah, that's an E note. You don't want that. So pick your fifth string down. Back to E. And practice these changes. Go to B7. Go slow. You know, make sure you understand what you're doing. Then go back to E. Now when you get brave enough, what I want you to do is I want you to start an E major right here. And I want you to pick your top string. Strum. Fifth string. Strum. Top string. Strum. Then I want you to go to a B seventh. And pick your fifth string, strum, take that finger up on top string, strum, back, go back to E major, top string. I want you to practice that, okay? 